Kumar Amigos, Estoy J. Todd, y Bienvenido de la Smoke Report. Yeah, all right, that about uses up all of my two years of high school Spanish classes. I've got another interesting show for you today, my friends, with insight into the mind of the Food and Drug Administration. But let me start with a small victory for smokers here in the United States. <clears throat> On our show from August 30th of this year, we talked about the disgusting new campaign by the Food and Drug Administration to put warning labels on packs of smokes in what looked like a juvenile scare tactic. If you haven't seen these labels, let me warn you in advance. They are graphic and grotesque. So look away from your computer screens now if you don't want to see them. For the rest of you, this is what they look like. On that show, I told you all that these labels were not only inflammatory, but burdensome to the tobacco companies forced to print them up and place these images on their packaging in a more prominent position than the brand itself. I also told you that some of these tobacco companies were taking this fight to court. And this week, a judge granted an injunction against a picture of a diseased lung and a post-autopsy photo of a corpse saying they constituted anti-smoking advocacy rather than straightforward information. As a result, such images could violate the tobacco company's First Amendment rights. So there it is. Kind of weird, huh? A judge agreeing with us? So there's the good news for a change. A small victory, but with the way things have been going for our industry lately, we'll take it. Be back in a minute. up with our theme of ridiculous and inflammatory ads comes a story from Iowa warning that bacon, yes I said bacon, can cause rectal cancer. And to drive their point home, the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine put up a billboard showing bacon strips coming out of a cigarette pack. Can we show the ad? I wonder if the Committee for Responsible Medicine stopped to consider responsible advertising before throwing up such a ridiculous and feeble campaign. Personally, I love bacon. My only complaint is that I can't keep it lit long enough to get a good draw off of it. And finally, a story from the New York Times about e-cigarettes and how they find it odd that the U.S. Food and Drug Administration is critical of these devices when they have been proven to be one of the most effective tools to help people stop smoking. You see, the FDA views e-cigs as a drug delivery device, and this opinion has been backed up by the American Cancer Society the American Heart Association, an organization called Action on Smoking and Health, and the Center for Tobacco-Free Kids. So, allow me, on behalf of e-cigarette users everywhere, reply to each of these critics. <clears throat> American Cancer Society, e-cigs have never been shown to cause cancer, so shut up. American Heart Association, e-cigs are far more heart healthy than real cigarettes, so shut up. 
action on smoking and health, e-cigs are not smoking, so shut up. And Center for Tobacco-Free Kids, e-cigs are not a tobacco product, shut the hell up. And as for you, Food and Drug Administration, you guys have been blowing your smoke for years, pun intended, so no one's listening to you anyways. You see, on the surface, e-cigs look like a logical, viable alternative to real cigarettes, more effective than patches or gum or jacking up the taxes or any warning label. So why does a federal organization like the FDA hate them so much? Maybe, hear me out here, maybe the government doesn't really want us to stop smoking. Follow me. Big Tobacco spends a hell of a lot of money lobbying and making uh, <clears throat> campaign contributions, if you know what I mean. All that cash disappears if there are no more tobacco companies. So maybe, just maybe, all of this really isn't about the safety of e-cigs at all. Maybe it's about the money. Just like it always is, we'll find out for sure as soon as our government figures out a way to tax e-cigarettes like they tax tobacco. When that happens, you watch my friends, all of the supposed health concerns are gonna vanish like vapor in the air. We'll see you in two weeks right here on The Smoke Report. You're supposed to be, supposed to be my friend. You're supposed to be my friend.